We've now talked about NPUs in some detail now. You've mentioned GPUs. What is the key difference between a GPU and an MPU? It sounds like today, a lot of people would be using a GPU for all the workloads that you've been describing we should actually be using an NPU for. GPUs integrated and discrete, right, Trish? Yeah, so, you know, I'd say that GPUs are far more versatile today, right? Because they're ultimately the best at parallel processing. And so by definition, they're very performant at AI and ML workloads, right? And we all know that because um, that's before the advent of the NPUs. That's what, that is the accelerator of primary value when it came to AI and ML. Um, the point I was going to make is what, um, what really sets GPUs apart is their ability to um, to scale in performance, right? Relative to NPUs today. Um, if you um, go back to what Ish was talking about earlier, also the GB10 and the GB300 that have the NVIDIA GPUs that are also coming out later this year, there's some pretty staggering capabilities within those boxes, right? So like the GB10, for example, is gonna be capable of up to a 200 billion parameter model that can be fine-tuned locally, which is game-changing for you know, your data science community. Now you don't have to set up a whole cloud instance. You have this appliance and your work group in the lab and you, you, you're, you're on business, right? You can really play with some of the frontier models. So that's pretty game-changing and that's fairly accessible from a price standpoint. I won't go into the details, but it's definitely more affordable than some of the alternatives, right? And then if you really want to scale that up, you have the GB300, which gets you up to 500 billion parameter models at 20 petaflops, uh, but that's at a much different price point, right? So again, it comes down to what you want to do, um, but GPUs today have far more scale in terms of performance than NPUs. NPUs are still evolving. I think we're talking about first couple of generations. So as I said, they're going to get better, um, and and the differentiator for NPUs is performance. But what GPUs are not that, you know, um, conscious when it comes to power consumption. Let me say, and that's a really nuanced difference, right? For GPUs right now, and we're talking about client devices here, right? Like we're the, there is a whole aspect to Dell that is in the server land. It lives up in the cloud, on prem, hyperscale, whatever you want to do. But on client devices. The highest ceiling right now, GPU. On client devices, the best efficiency right now, CPU or NPU, depending on your use case, right? Speed also depends. What kind of model are you running also depends. Like, and this is that matrix I was talking about, John. Like, it went from, you know, fairly evident what you needed to do to, hey, I'm now thinking about buying a device here in August of 2025 or September of 2025. And I'm trying to figure out what the commitment of this device is going to be over four or five years, right? I mean, you can really see that lacking something with an NPU in it or lacking something with a discrete GPU in it, you may come to realize that you're going to need to upgrade sooner rather than later if you don't make that investment now. And, you know, Sharish and I are not part of sales. So like you buy one laptop, you buy a million, doesn't really impact us. But that's the truth. And that's what I'd think about if I were if I were making a purchase right now. 